Hi, so lately we've been interested in making drums and musical instruments based on frequency and resonance. And we've done a few things in metal and wood. And a lot of people have suggested to me to build a hank drum. Now a hank drum traditionally is made out of a propane tank. You basically cut the tank in half, cut a lot of tongues on it, solder the two halves together and happy enough, you've got yourself a drum. Now unfortunately that does require two things, a propane tank and the ability to weld, and I have neither of those. So I was looking at this and I was thinking, okay, is there an alternative that we could do? Now, I don't remember if you had this harp in the previous video, and it made a beautiful bell-like ringing sound. Now, it's a bit of aluminium. So what I did was I went out and bought myself an aluminium wok, and I thought, Okay, this wok has got potential. It's a dome shape, it's aluminium, so it's going to be easy to cut. It should give a nice bell light ring. How are we going to go about cutting it? Well, I have these. Now, a hole saw, if I put that hole saw flat on a piece, of course it's going to cut a hole. But if I cut it at an angle, then I should be able to cut out a tongue, and I should be able to extend that tongue down to give me the metal that I want. Now, surprisingly enough, there isn't much difference in the amount of metal that you vibrate, and we can change that, as we know, by changing the mass of the metal or changing the length of the vibrating tongue. So one thing we could do is grind a bit off to change the note. The other thing we can do is not cut all the way around, like I say, cut it all the way around so it's a rough scrape, but leave a bit connected, and we can extend that to create a vibrating tongue on the surface of this wok. That anyway is the plan. Now obviously I didn't buy one wok, I went out and bought two, because these are really easy to deal with. They're a lump of very nice aluminium. Handle comes off really easy, it's got a screw in there, and if I put two of those together, I have my hank drum. All I need to do now is cut out those holes and attach those two together. Now I've decided on eight notes, so I'm going to put the first note in the top here, and then I'm going to put seven notes all the way around there. And those seven notes I've marked at 70 degrees. This top one, I have no idea how big these need to be, so I'm going to use this large hole saw for the top one, and then I've got two smaller hole saws that I'm going to make two sections of, so um, four and three, or three and four, not quite sure, but just drill those out. So I'm going to drill those out at an angle to create myself those vibrating tongues. Okay, so I'm at the pillar drill. I'm just going to rest my wok there on the bench. I've put some marks here on it. We'll put the drill into the marks, which should give me the right angle. And let's just give it a go and see. Okay, amazingly enough, the first bit of that plan seems to have worked. Not sure you call it a note, but it's certainly a noise. Uh, I'm going to change it a bit because I tried to fit the centre hole in and I couldn't. So I'm going to put eight around the edge and make the, whole, the pieces slightly smaller. But I certainly managed to uh, fire, uh, cut out the first one, so let's cut out the other seven. Okay, so one of the problems with doing it this way, obviously, is you leave lots of these, which are the drill holes for the guide drill when you use a hole cutter. But I don't know if you remember when we did a video on this stuff. This stuff is the aluminium welding rod, or at least that's how it's sold. It's more like a zinc-based solder, actually. Now, I did know it did this. and uh, I saw it, but I've never actually done it. But actually, it's truly amazing. So you just apply a bit of heat. Okay, I knew it did that, but to be honest, that just astounds me. It fills the hole, we can sand it down, and it will be invisible. Okay, that's it. Pretty nearly finished, actually. Now, to tune this, you can do one of two things, really. Add weight to the tongues, or lengthen or shorten the tongue. So you can lengthen it with a hacksaw. You can shorten it by welding some of that aluminium weld that we used to fill those holes in. Now, obviously, a weight's really easy. You glue something on there and you have a mass that you can remove a bit of, and you remove a bit, and you'll change its tone until you get the tone you want. Then what you do, obviously, is with our second wok, 
I've cleaned the edge. We're going to put those together and then we're going to aluminium weld them together. Okay, and there it is, finished and together. So, uh, in order to aluminium weld this, incidentally, I had to use a hot plate right there. I stuck the pans on the hot plate upside down and put a steel plate on top of that to weigh them together and then ran the aluminium welding rod around it with a bit of a gas torch to join those two bits together. It was the only way to get it hot enough. If you just tried with the torch, there's too much massive aluminium there. You have to kind of preheat it. But it's easy enough to do, just stick it on a hot plate. Now, um, these drums, like I say, are relatively easy to tune, and I'm no musician, so uh, please forgive my horrible attempts at making music. In fact, um, I would just call it making a sound, <laughs> to be honest. But let's have a listen and see what it's actually like. Well, it's got a ring, it's got volume. I quite like it. So, there you go. You can easily make yourself a Hank drum without a propane tank. Now, obviously, I used aluminium because that's what was in the store, but I think you could do exactly the same thing with the steel wok. Um, I welded it with the aluminium weld because that's what I've got, but I suspect something like JB Weld would do just as well, actually. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching.